Hello everyone, Dan here from Sherpy T. You are in for a treat. Uh, hooked up with an old buddy, Terry Pease, and uh, went out to his farm. And Terry used to have a motocross track. I think it's been shut down three, four years or so forth, but uh, there's some bumps that we're going to be seeing um, that we kind of went over. Nothing really too radical, but you'll get a little bit of an idea as we're driving through here. Um, you know, back in the heyday, uh, heck, there'd be 20, 50 people here that were riding motocross bikes. It's some pretty darn good folks, too, that were driving. Some of them were Class A riders, so... Um, there's even been pros out to this track in the past. Now you're not going to be able to see it uh, as well as it looked in the past just because it hasn't been maintained, but get a little bit of an idea here. So his wife Lori, she's got plenty of horses that run around here too. So on the right hand side there, that's a horse pasture and right through here is where the horses go if they wanted to go in the back. Uh, this was a fairly large tabletop jump. This isn't where the motocross was actually going, um, but you know what? I was driving and I wanted to give those guys a little bit of a, a feel for what the Sherp could do, so I kind of went in the path not traveled. So we are actually on the track right now, uh, about to go off it here in just a second, um, but it was fairly smooth spot right here. Uh, coming up in just a little bit, uh, Joe is going to kick it in and he's going to be following us on a four-wheeler until we get back to some um, crazy areas, I'll just put it like that. Uh, that hill right there that I just went over is a lot steeper than what you think it is. Um, you can kind of see that with that radical kind of plop down with the front of the Sherp. Uh, my guess is one, if not two, of the front tires were off the ground at that particular spot. And this is some of us here hanging out. It's me there on the left, and then Terry, we got a couple of folks there in the back too uh, that uh, went along for the ride. I think overall I probably took almost a dozen people in the Sherp uh, driving around. Everybody just had a great time. I, I, I had a great time. It was a really cool. So there's Joe running behind us here with the four-wheeler just to give some um, uh, some pictures of just some of the stuff that we're actually doing here. So again we got two people in the front, two people in the back, not a full load, uh, just going out and having a good old time shall we say. Um, it was fun. There's some alcohol abuse going on. He should have drank that but we'll, we'll give him a pass for this particular thing. Um, not hold it against him. So again, we are still on the track, but very soon we will not be on the track. And we're going to kind of the back, I believe he's got like 40, maybe 60 acres. Um, and there's a lot of different types of terrain um, that exist on this property. Uh, we have some marsh, uh, we've got some swampy stuff, we're going through some trees, uh, that type of thing. Um, he's just done one hell of a job with this property over the years. Uh, he is a deer hunter, as am I, um, and he's got some decent sized bucks off of this little property. So here we're cruising along, we're probably in third, possibly fourth gear, I don't remember which gear we were at, uh, going here at a pretty decent clip. Uh, we're coming to, right there, there's like a little bitty creek that runs through there, and there's a culvert that uh, is running, you know, underneath the path that we are traveling. Then coming up to some various farm fields that are out here. We are no longer on the motocross track. This isn't where we typically rode in the past. Um, we're in the backside of his property. Um, went into the woods here in a couple of different locations. Uh, it does get kind of tight when we squeeze through here, but all is good. I just love how that old shirt just turns on a dime. Um, just a good old time. <laughs> So here we're going back and we're going to be turning very soon to go into the woods. Um, in 
from here it gets a little bit more dicier than what we have seen so far. Again, one of the important things if you do ride in a Sherp, if you are in that back, is to shut that back window when you are going through the woods. When you do, do turn sharp, uh, the back of the uh, Sherp uh, kind of swings quickly, and if you have that back window open, uh, it'll easily rip it right off. So. I always just try to tell everybody walking through that the importance of making sure that window is closed. And it's a little tight here. Not, not too bad, but it is a little bit tight right in there. Um, we're moving up here a little bit more now uh, through that. Not trying to bore you with too much of the boring stuff. But the front window is closed. This, this picture is from the front seat. And you can see... Uh, we're going through some stuff. I mean, you couldn't really just drive through that. This is the part that I really got a kick out of. This is the first time that I really ever drove through cattails. And again, that Sherp is, a, I think it's 100 inches tall, 100 inches wide. Um, these cattails are higher than the Sherp. So it's very, very difficult to see. Um, this is actually the first time that anybody's been back in this area to Terry's reckoned election anyhow. Um, during the summer, in the winter when everything's frozen, you can get back to this. But apparently there's like a little, there's actually a foundation right in the middle of this little moat that goes around. Uh, not sure why it's there or what's there. Uh, we didn't go exploring all that. But you can see there on the left, there was all that black mud that was coming off of those shirt tires. Uh, that is not very deep, uh, that moat. Uh, so it would kick into that bottom uh, and kind of stir things up there a little bit. And I'll tell you what, it stunk to high heaven. But what, what kind of vehicles could do this? I, I know of absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. So we'll leave it at there. And uh, I think I'm just going to sign off here a little bit and let you listen to what's going on. And we do have some different... Passengers right now, that's Lori on the left. I believe that's her daughter. Sorry if I got that mixed up. Um, there was a lot of different people there and I didn't know everybody extremely well. So again, pretty radical spot there. Here I just took a regular camera and just placed it and we're driving through another swampy spot. This is really, really shallow. I don't think it's even a foot deep. Um, but holy moly did it stink. So we are turning that uh, muck crap up uh, it, it, it definitely did smell
So here we're coming, a little bit different view. Um, set up a camera just on one side just to try to capture myself uh, plopping into the water here. And quite a few people in the back, you might have seen this before on TikTok or Instagram. This is one of the videos that are out there. If you look at that, that water was so stinking high. Uh, it was unbelievable. And there's a view from the inside as to how we reacted after we went through. That was awesome. Uh, or into the water, pardon me. He just, this pond is just so cool. Uh, the water is absolutely crystal clear. Uh, you can see there from the left there on the swimming platform. Uh, just a great place to hang out during the summer. Again, just an absolutely wonderful job for building this uh, nice little pond back here. Now this particular thing to me is something that's really unique to a shirt. Um, I'm not going straight in here as you're going to see, I'm going to the side. But just look at the angle that we have here and the way that shirt enters the water. There is nothing that can do that. Uh, unbelievable. Just from going through and jumping through the front of this water, uh, doing things like that, uh, the following day, uh, I went and I, there's little bunk bugs that are on the bottom of the shirt. I opened those up. I probably had, I'd say, maybe three quarters of a gallon of water on the inside of the shirt, so there really wasn't that much. The water will enter in right next to the gasket on the window when it opens up. And of course, the water is coming in. It is not coming through the bottom of the shirt. It's coming from uh, the top of the shirt, which is not meant to be under the water. Well, you probably can hear the dogs were as having as much fun as the humans were when it comes to a shirt. I did have the headlights on, it was becoming the end of the night. You can just see the lights there hitting the opposite side of that pond. Um, we did that because we thought it looked pretty cool, so. Do. There is two different types of lights on the shirt, actually three in a sense. Uh, that is actually the high beams, but there really isn't a hell of a lot of difference between the high beams and the low beams. It's just different headlights. Uh, there's two lights right now that are on, the ones that are extremely bright. You put it on low, one on the left-hand side goes on, and one on the far right goes on. There's also running lights on it uh, that are white uh, that are running. Uh, this right here was actually a pretty decent thing to try to go up. Uh, again, when you try to go up an obstacle with that shirt, you want to make sure that it's perfectly perpendicular or you'll turn to the side like that. I actually did that on purpose because it's it feels really weird on the inside of the shirt. Uh, it feels great when you're in the front. The back, you are getting thrown around a little bit. Um, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. This pond is not very big, as you obviously can tell, um, but there is plenty of space for doing a little bit of fun. And then one of the places, I didn't show you all the video that we had uh, from this particular day, um, but we not only went on Terry's property, we also went to his neighbors. Uh, he wasn't able to come until a little bit later, and did is we took him and we went back to that same area back by those cattails and uh, kind of checked that whole that thing crazy. out. That was fucking um, crazy. Awesome. <laughs> great. Wow. And, yeah, yeah! Woo! Yeah, yeah! You could probably hear a little bit of the excitement in the air. God, did we have a great time. But here gives you a little bit of picture of what it looks like at night in the shirt. The lights are actually very, very good. Um, you can see extremely well. If you go in the reverse, you're not going to be able to see that though, but there is reverse lights that pop on when you do put it in reverse. They're not nearly as bright as this, but... Uh, Watch this, Reggae. Here's that boat anyways. 
This is what I was talking about. This is absolutely crazy. We couldn't see anything. On the right? So this is it. Right day. Good to be walking through this shit. They put trails in, right? That's right. Hey. Go that way, Daddy. <laughs> and here we are, dude. Really? You're an awesome man back here, dude. This is the moment. Well, I appreciate you watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did in making this particular video. Great group of people. Greatly appreciate it. Had an absolutely wonderful time. Um, please subscribe to the channel and have yourself a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.